Hello and welcome once again to the Cholesterol Festival for Extraterrestrials! Did it make any sense? Who cares? Last time we defeated the lair of the enemy ants. We went down there, we killed them all off, and we killed a load of ant babies as well. Death to all the ant babies! No ant babies today! Fresh terror is on the menu though. I hope you like legs. Yep, turns out we didn't kill all the insects. There's more! Here we have a new type of Gigantor. The ever mysterious and terrifying Centipede. Or is it a Millipede? It's not really anything to be honest. Came from the depths of the earth, but well, sort of like a cross between a centipede and an earwig, maybe. It's got that sort of earwiggy antlers or whatever. Also separates out into sort of crab like beetle things for some reason. And shoots snot at you. From its glowing orbs atop its volcano like protrusions. Hmm. Anyhow, this is a new enemy, as I said. It's not terribly dangerous. If there was more of them, they'd be more dangerous. The introductory level, so they're being fairly nice to us. There's nothing compared to the ant slaughter that happened last time. Like the ants and the spiders, these centipede type dudes can get caught on the uh, geometry quite easily. And they will do. It's quite funny on longer chains of them. Got a few groups of them around. Shh! It's sleeping! Oh, I woke it up. I brought the Rapid Mirage with us today. Remember the Mirage? It was a bit useless. Rapid Mirage is even more useless. Fires fast, drains your energy, hones in really badly, and does minimal damage. Good job, Mirage. Whatever. You're a credit to the team. So you've got the Laser Lance B doing its Laser Lance D work. Seems to kill their segments in one hit. Which is nice. Very nice indeed. The nicest, perhaps. And you may recall last episode I bemoaned the trouble I was having playing and recording at the same time. Had a bit of input lag, that's why I kept missing things. After saying that I immediately thought, hmm, I wonder if I can actually play on the television and record at the same time. Turns out I can! This is slightly embarrassing considering the television I play on is actually the very same television I use monitor for my computer. Literally all I've had to do the whole time is press the button to change the input. Oh this one was hiding itself in the building. It's a bit longer than it looked. It's dead now though. It's dead. Except for that bit. The segments of the ends of the centipede like structure have little extra bits on them. I don't know what those eyes are about, they're a bit freaky. The uh, glowing orbs that tell you they're about to fire persist after death, which can fool you sometimes. Thinking that you've not killed them, but you have! Now these are a new enemy for the series, they didn't appear in Monster Attack and they certainly didn't appear in 2017. I like them. Like most of the new enemies in this game, they're pretty cool. Pretty fun. We have a rather long one here. See what it's hiding behind this tree. It's hiding a kind of awkward fold. Hmm. Let's wake it up. Then kill it to bits. You can stand on it. Not a very good idea. Firing the rapid mirage while standing on it. Falling off and being hit by stuff. 
properly done with the laser alarm. Urban Barrage. Rapping Barrage is not a terribly good weapon. I brought it with me for a specific reason. Because it makes these things spaz out in a most incredibly enjoyable way. Head into the forest and kill this one up. Those two. A bit confusing. Each segment has its own dots on the minimap. As you probably noticed. Makes it easy to keep track of how big they are. So apparently these things came from deep underground, deeper either than the uh, Gigantor nests. Interesting. How did they get here? The nests before the second invasion came and dropped on its spiders were only populated by ants. Where have these weird creatures come from? During the first invasion, did they make these guys and then drop them off? Did they some sort of backup plan? Did they embed these deep in the earth secretly? During the second invasion so far? I don't know. Nobody really knows that those damned invaders. And they're not telling! Also, what's the time, Mr. Centipede? What is that? 1 o'clock? Uh, 11? 9? Make up your mind, Mr. Centipede! Okay, let's put these last two centipedes out of their misery. Kind of odd calling them centipedes, but they're clearly not centipedes. Segments, maybe. Kill the last two segments. Anyhow, that's us done. No time to waste, as usual. We got another mission coming up. Switch over to our infantry trousers once again. Equip ourselves with the SNR 228 new weapon, the sniper rifle, and the Goliath Double D for double the explosions. Read this thing. Seems like the EDF headquarters has been looking at its minimap and is confused by its results. Obviously their minimap must be less detailed than ours. Ours sees the segments as separate enemies, whereas theirs sees it as big one big one. Where are you going, innocent civilians? What could possibly be scary over? Oh dear. As the acid rain descends upon us, we shall head up the road towards what is likely to be a very long centipede or millipede. You may be wondering what the hell's up with the frame rate. It seems slightly more terrible than usual. Or oh, a gigantic centipede is up what's up. This thing is seriously slowing the game down. See, it's absolutely massive, there's lots and lots of them. Let's get to work. The uh, sniper rifle I brought with me is just a basic upgraded sniper rifle. Slow firing, high power, high accuracy. High accuracy I can actually make use of more. Notice how I'm not kind of passing by targets and then having to turn back as if I'm seeing something like half a second behind. The millipede is very good at kind of flailing around in the air in a weird anti-gravity manner. How peculiar! Well the 228 doesn't seem to take them out in one hit. A couple seems to be enough to decouple the centipede segments, as does the double D. Like the black ants, the centipede segments only have one real attack, and that is to think that's not at you. Dirty. Not a terrible danger at close range. You keep on your toes and never stop moving or go back in yourself, you should never really be hit by the green snot. So it's not a problem. Oh, oh. I don't know why I call it snot, it's clearly some sort of acidy thing. 
by the ants have unless it corresponds to the colour of their blood just like the ants do maybe it's acid blood they're squirting like aliens or something it was aliens wasn't it? the acid blood I'm not imagining that am I? probably not The lack of any real close range attack from the Millipede means we can get in nice and close and take the fight to it. The less there are, the less likely you're going to be hit by all these green snotty things. When they're down to a single segment, they sort of stare at you with their weird purple eye, spit directly at you and stop moving and stuff. By the ants, they can climb on pretty much anything. Seeing an entire, like, 100 metre long centipede train get stuck on a building is quite funny. They manage to record it. They also seem to, like, flying up in the air when you kill them. It would be EDF if the enemies didn't decide to fly once they were dead. We. Although a short range weapon like a shotgun can probably screw the centipedes right up. A long range weapon, or at least a mid range weapon, is more desirable. If you're getting close, you're only going to hit a couple of segments at a time anyway, so you might as well stay at a distance. Take them out with a sniper rifle or something, or at the very least, an assault rifle. Their train-like formation, their constant movement speed makes them hard to keep up with sometimes. That one's stuck over there. Now it's no longer stuck. Get down here. They seem to decouple when you kill one of them. Kind of breaking the chain. I'm sure I've shot two and had both of them split up and moved to me at some point. Quite sure how the decoupling actually works. The little glowing balls still remaining when they're dead can fool you like you did just then. I look up at the sky here hoping to do a fancy shoot them as they fall thing, which I swear I did loads of during my test run. I was like, Blam! And then and zoom in and shoot them all as they fell and it was very impressive. And then I didn't get a single opportunity to do that during the actual recording. For shame. As ever, we are almost done here. One more centipede segment. I'm going to try and blow them up. Then I blow up a load of buildings. Those uh, in construction buildings really fall down nice, I like that. I like that a lot. Zoom in, shoot a helicopter. Finally, I got one. That fence stood at no chance. One left, let's make it a good kill. Boom! Mission clear. Anyhow, no time for silliness today. That's it. Go away.